when handling accumulation registers via programming code, there are two essential distinctions as compared to documents and catalogs. First, records in accumulation registers are not metadata objects. They have no references and do not require to comply with referential integrity requirements. Second, while it is possible to create, save and post documents practically anywhere, it does not work for records added into accumulation registers and any other subordinate registers. Only documents can add records to subordinate registers and we strongly recommend against any other method. We've already discussed the methods of creating records via procedure, posting. With the account of the above, we can skip the part on adding and changing records in accumulation registers. In this case, we want to create a simplified form to interact with the information register. As we intend to add data with programming code, we need just three buttons and three respective commands on the client and on the server. The first command acquires all records added by a specific document or recorder. We need to add the required code in the document module. Here is some helpful info on the subject from the Syntax Assistant. Well, we already know about the configuration object manager that lists all available documents or catalogs or accumulation registers. Now we want to access the register directly via accumulation register manager dot accumulation register name. Just look at this great selection of properties and methods. Still, we need just one. Method select by recorder first retrieves a reference to the document that added related records and then produces what we call a data set. Let's just take a pause and learn about datasets. Mainly there are two ways to acquire a dataset. It's either method select that receives parameters, that is conditions for data selection, or a query. So a dataset is a dedicated object that allows picking up elements of various configuration objects and other objects. The values included with a dataset are used in iterations. It means that with method select by recorder, we retrieve a set of records added by the document that we've selected. After the small portion of theory, let's get back to the code. We start with acquiring a reference to the document that we're interested in. We pass the retrieved reference to method select by recorder to get a data set of records created by the document. We apply method next to iterate through the dataset. On creating a dataset, the platform does not pick all values at once to prevent high load in the system, but one by one. Method next on each loop switches to the next value in the dataset. During this step, the method picks the value that follows the previously selected value in the dataset. It allows us to access any property of the record right through the dataset. For example, Pick a product sold under a specific document purchases. Now let us see how it works in 1C Enterprise mode. Before we proceed, let's make sure that we've added the form to our home page. Let's check the list of products sold under our document. Right, we have a single product, namely SuperPC, 
it means that we get only one line. And the data set consists of a single register record. This way, a click on the button brings up only one record, namely Super PC. Hey, it works. Now we can proceed to the following task. Depending on the register type, balance or turnover, we can get either info on turnover, turnover registers, or balance and turnover, balance registers. Our register inventory is a balance one. So we do whatever we think fit. Here is some info from the syntax assistant that can be of use to us. Well, the most obvious way to get balances is to use method balance. Let's write the code for our procedure. Everything's pretty simple here. To get the balance for a particular product as the second parameter, we should pass the product to method balance. We pass the product as a combination of the product name as set in the register and a reference to the respective product. The first parameter we set is the balance period. Here we pass a date or a period. The third and the fourth parameters are dimensions and resources that we want to apply to the selected product. We can skip these two parameters and get the result on all register dimensions and resources. As a result, we get a table with two columns, dimensions and resources. Switch to 1C Enterprise mode and see what happens. Let us check some info on method turnovers. Right, here we can see some peculiarities. As we want to set a balance period here, we need to change the code. Also note that we can get balance both from balance registers and turnover registers, but the resulting tables will have a different look, depending on the kind of register selected. Let's add the code and check how it works in 1C Enterprise mode. Well, with this, we end the theory on accumulation registers.